Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen of JMeter how to install the JMeter and how to run the first script. And we have created a group of users. All right. And uh, we were running 10 users within 20 seconds. And uh, we have just given one iteration of that. OK. And we have created an HTTP request and that we have given the website name. And uh, I have given a path because it's I want to go to the home page. So I just given a slash here. And we have also added listeners uh, in the form of tree and table. All right. Now we will go ahead because you know for every test case which we run, there should be some assertions to know whether the test case has passed or not. We cannot go every time and you know check manually that you know we are getting it passed in a response or not. Okay. So let's see in the response. I want to check 200. Okay. 200 is the status which I got. If it's 200, that's mean I got a successful response. So what I will do? So I will do a right click and uh, on the group i will click on add so sampler is the one through which we can add some more requests i don't want to do that and listener is the one where i can you know uh, go ahead and add some listeners okay so all right so uh, we have already added two listeners one is for the resulting table and uh, another is the result tree okay so we have already done that and now i can go to assertions where i can assert the test case all right. So there are many assertions given. We can try all the assertions one by one. But right now, I will just, uh, you know, for the simplicity purpose, uh, we will just uh, try two assertions here. So let me try the for the most common one, which is a response assertion here. All right. So this is a response assertion, which is uh, I have put under this group. And uh, there are many things here, but I will select here response data code. OK, so let's go for code. OK. I will click on that and I will say 200. I will just click outside or hit on enter. Okay, so there's a one response assertion which is there and I want uh, my, you know, this test case will check that if the response which I'm getting has 200 response code or not, status code or not. Okay, so I will go here. I'll first delete all the results from here. Then I will just run it and uh, Okay, let me see what is giving us. Okay. All right, so I don't want result to be stored in file right now. Let me just remove everything from here. Okay, let me remove everything and just run it again. And let's see in table. So if you see that we are getting the status as pass, it is passing everything. There's no issue with this. Even the tree also, it is passing everything. Okay, so I'm getting 200. Okay. No issues with that all right so 10 iterations 10 users will logged in so okay so it's over now at the top right hand side now uh, let's assume that uh, you know uh, we are not getting a 200 so or maybe we can even change this to 201 just to make uh, you know like uh, just to make sure our expected is not matching to the actual one okay so what will happen now we will run okay so here if I click on this run and go to tree or table you can see that you know everything is failing here okay if you go to tree in tree also everything is failing and you will get a response assertion error false assertion error false assertion failure true assertion failure message test failed code expected to contain 201 so basically my expected is not matching to the actual one okay so you know uh, like i if i give 200 it will go away all right so this is the way we do a response assertion so let me just make it 200 again because that is the correct one i just wanted to show you how it will look when the assertions get failed all right okay so let me clear everything from here now there's one more assertion bes beside that uh, which we can add which is very common one so if i go to assertion okay we have already done with response assertion so here i can give uh JSON path duration assertion. Okay, so that is also very common because if you see here last time, if I run that, let me just remove it and run it again. Okay, when I was running before, if you see that the response which I get is this one. And if I go in table, this is the table view. And if you see that, you know, the time it took is 918 milliseconds and it is 1026 milliseconds, which is equivalent to one second. All right, but let's say I have a requirement that you know whenever I am hitting some of the of the home page, my home page should get load within 900 milliseconds only, okay? Or it should be less than 1,000. 
So how would I do that? If I want that, my home page should be loaded uh, within 1000 milliseconds, let's uh, say for sure. And if it's not, uh, you know, it's taking more than 1000, then I need to look into the code. So I can give that assertion also. So I will do a right click at, and then I will uh, go to assertions and then duration assertion. And here I can give 1000. All right. So if it is 1000 till 1000, it will not give you any error. But if it's above 1000, it will fail. So let's clear all the results and now run again and see in tables. So the first, uh, first thread, first user is failed because there the page is loaded after 1000 milliseconds. All right, so that's mean that, uh, you know, all these which are getting passed, that is fine. But the two instances in which I am, you know, my homepage is not getting loaded in a particular time. Even the third one is loaded in three seconds. That is 3,647. So I need to look into my coding to see whether, you know, there's some issue with the code because of that. So it's all depending on your requirement. What do you want to keep the, the buffer where your page should get loaded? All right, so this is the simplest way we can use assertions. There are many more assertions here. If you see here, if you go to assertions, there are many more like JSON, XPath assertion. When we are testing the APIs, we can use all those things. So there are many more things which we can test, but for now, we are making it simple. In the next video, uh, we will look into some more features of JMeter. All right, thank you for watching.